Welcome to the very first episode of the Sansi versus the Hidden Harvest Grow Light series. In this episode, I'm just going to talk a few things about the lights and about what I've got going on down here. And these are actually clippings from a jalapeno pepper plant that was taken from another experiment that I did, which is the RODI versus the tap water, which will be linked right up here or at the end of the video for the playlist for that series. Uh, currently, I do not have episode three, and I'm currently working on that. So the first two episodes are out by the time you see this video. But I got these down here. I don't normally have, or I don't have these both of these lights on while I'm getting these to root. I only have the Hidden Harvest Grow light on and I have it on the other side of this divider so that these get a minimal amount of light before they root. So I'm just showing you these lights and what they look like. That's kind of what I wanted to show here. And you can see here that if you look at the back wall, the Sansi Grow Light, it, on video it looks, it appears to be very white and that is not actually what it looks like in person. It has kind of a yellowish greenish cast to where the Hidden Harvest Grow Light has a, a more of a warmer look to it as far as the ambient light. But looking at the lights, obviously you can see that it's a mixture of warm white and very cool white LEDs. And of course the Sansi Grow Light is just a single color temperature. And I've talked in the past plenty of times of how when you mix the color temperature of LEDs, such as a warm and cool white, you get a better overlap of spectrum. And we're going to put that to the test in this grow series. This isn't going to be a very long series. It's only going to consist of a few episodes. Um, looking at these lights here, uh, I did reviews for actually both of these lights. And if you're interested in those reviews, the links will be up here and at the end of the video and in the video description below. Uh, these grow lights, both of these are on the same power efficiency, so right around one micromole per watt. Uh, they do not dim, but what I will be doing is, is using my Apogee MQ500 PAR meter to make sure the PAR levels will be the same at the plant canopy so that it's a very uh, valid experiment. The only thing I will be changing mainly in this experiment from the past experiments is the type of nutrients I'm using. In the past, and pretty much every single one of my hydroponic experiments, I have used the General Hydroponics Flora Series, the liquid fertilizer. In this series, I'm starting to use the dry fertilizer. This is Veg Plus Bloom, the RO slash soft version, which is uh, available on Amazon. So this is gonna make things a lot easier and I'm really looking forward to using this. If you're interested in this, it will be in the description below. That is an affiliate link and I do receive a tiny commission if you purchase it. It doesn't cost you anything though. So in the past seasons, I was doing the cracky method. In this season, I am going to be doing the aerated method again, just because it takes so long for the pepper plants to grow. I'm gonna try to speed up that process just a little bit. I do want to say one thing about clones though, and some people, they want me to do clones in every one of my experiments. Well, the thing about growing clones is that just because it's a clone doesn't mean that it's actually going to grow identically to another plant, even though it's genetically identical. There's a lot of variables that can cause plants to grow differently. In this case, I am choosing to grow clones because I can only grow one plant under each light instead of the two or four like in the past seasons, because these lights in their form factor just is not enough to grow more than one plant. So that's what's gonna be going on this season. I just wanted to give a brief overview before we continue on to the next episodes because I'm not gonna be discussing that in the further episodes. So that's it for this episode. We'll see you in episode two. Thanks for watching.